hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Alyssa, and i'm so excited for this second half of december 2022 budget setup video this is the last budget setup video of 2022 kind of crazy to think that we really only have two-ish weeks left of the year and then we get a brand new start of 2023 brand new budget brand new slate basically everything brand new um, for the most part I like to think. So if you're new to this channel my name is Alyssa and I create budgeting content, planning content, and really just having you follow my journey to paying off all of my 200000 in student loan debt. So if you're interested in any of that make sure you hit the subscribe button in the bottom corner down here, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below your basically what you would like to accomplish before the end of the year or what you want to do to set yourself up for success in 2023. I always find that super helpful and knowledge share is just so, so important. So without further ado, let's get this budget set up. So how we start our budget is always with the income. So I do have a full-time job that gives me a paycheck every two weeks. It's actually on the 1st and the 15th. So this will be from December 15th through the 31st. So my paycheck for these two weeks is $1,651. Then we also have some payback that will be basically coming my way. I put a flight for work on my credit card, so they sent me a check as a reimbursement for that. And then I also have another flight next year for a bachelorette party that I paid for me and my friend and she Venmoed me for her part of it. And then I also bought um, someone lunch, so they Venmoed me back um, for their part of that as well. So a total for that is actually $675. And then for this half of the month, we have saved savings, which will actually be a pretty significant portion. We're pulling $1,210 from savings. This will be to pay actually for my flight um, for the bachelorette party. And then I also have some stuff that I want to pay off for Christmas. We also have some Christmas travel happening um, that I have money saved for for that. And then I think that's everything that I know of thus far. So it's $1,210 that'll be coming this way. And then we also have side hustle income. So for side hustles, we need to calculate sort of basically everything we earned from the first half of December. This is something I always do. It's like every all of the money made in the previous two weeks then goes into the budget for basically the two weeks after that. It's just easier to keep track of that way and then I know what I'm working with at that point. So I did receive actually a payout from Flip. Flip is the basically reselling app that I use to sell clothes on. It's a great resource. I always have a affiliate link linked in the description box below and I have tons of videos that I'll link in the corner here if you're interested in trying it out. But my revenue for that was actually $130. There's no expenses for this and the taxes. So we do need to calculate taxes. I saved 20%. So 130 times 0.2 gives us $26. Then we do 130 minus 26 gives us our, whoops, 130 minus 26 gives us our total income for flip, which is $104. And then we have plasma. So because I was sick, I wasn't able to go as many times as I typically go. Normally this number is higher. Normally it's double, but I did $112 no expenses and 112 times 0.2 gives us, I always round up for taxes, so $23. So 112 minus 23 gives us a total of $89 for plasma donation. And then we also have trivia. So I should have actually written this at the top here, but trivia host, this is my new like side hustle that I do every Tuesdays. And they do take the taxes out for me. So my revenue is exactly what my total income will be. And this was really just for the training that I did. They pay you, it was $50, they took $5 for taxes. They do it all, like I'll get a W-2 from them. Like I, I don't know why it's so low but that's just what I'm gonna work with here, so $45. And that's something I'll be, it will be a reoccurring thing in the side hustle tracker now. Every two weeks, it's pretty much in alignment with when I get paid from my full-time job, which is great. And we also have Amazon. 
Amazon is kind of slowing down a little bit, so this may not be on the side hustle tracker for much longer, but the taxes here will be $40. I can do that math in my head, and then $160 in total. So if we add this all up, we've got $104 plus $89 plus $45 plus $160 gives us a total of 300 and my pen's running out of ink and $98. So I have made kind of a vow to myself, a vow to my budget that all side hustle income will be going directly into savings or sinking funds. I will not be spending it to pay off debt. I will not be spending it to use as my like regular income for variable expenses because I'm giving up a lot of time and kind of like opportunity to do other things to make this extra income. So I really want to pay it back to myself because um, that's really the whole point of it is I want to be able to you know, go on vacation debt free, be able to pay for things like Christmas, car maintenance, car insurance, all of that, and not really worry about like where that money is going to come from, especially when my student loans come back due, things are going to get very, very tight. So $398 for side hustles. So if we add that all up, we have $1651 plus $675 plus 1210 plus 398 gives us three thousand nine hundred and thirty four dollars really not that bad as an amount of income even though most of this is not coming from my regular paycheck so for the bills of course we've got rent which i split my rent into two so i have four four hundred dollars that i save for rent every paycheck then we have utilities, which is all in my roommate's name. They just Venmo request me whenever it's due, and I always budget 50 for that. And then for this part of the month, we've got Spotify, which I realized I spelled that wrong. Spotify, which is due on the 16th, and that is $10. And then we have Peacock, which is like the, you know, one of the many, many subscription services you can have. That's due on the 21st, and that is just $5. And then we have LA Fitness, and I'm happy to announce, ladies and gentlemen, I have officially reassigned my debit card to charge for my LA Fitness account. It's no longer going on my credit card, so I can actually keep track of that. That was a goal I had for December. Actually, let's look back at the calendar because I realized we haven't done that yet for setting up this half of the month. So this is the calendar. That was actually one of my goals, switch LA Fitness to debit card. We can say that has been accomplished, but it'll be the 15th through the 31st here. So it's really two and a half weeks. Part of that will be in Portland for Christmas, visiting um, family. And so really the expected expenses are gonna be all of the acorns on Thursdays. We've already talked about rent and Spotify. Therapy will be on the 15th. And then gas, of course, when driving to and from Portland, it's about three hours. I will be driving my sister. We'll probably stop somewhere for dinner, grab something to eat on the way there and back. Then we have Discover Card due and New Year's Eve will likely um, yield an expense. Of course, the LA Fitness here as well. Let's see here. So that's everything that's coming up for the second half of December. There's really not a whole lot, but... December has been proving to be a very expensive month already. Okay, so back to the fixed expenses. Then we have Acorns, which, it, like I said, comes out every Tuesday or Thursday. Just kidding. And that's actually, I think there's three Thursdays. We've got one, two, three. So we actually have to budget $60 for Acorns. And then we have Therapy, which was on the 15th, actually. This is the only one we have this month was $25 and then we're not done yet so this is my last month paying for Sounders season tickets and that will be $84 and then I play indoor soccer um, with two different teams actually I'm not sure if one of them is coming back but I do know for the 10 games I have to pay about $130 and it starts back up the first week of January and I need to pay that before that mark so I figured might as well just bring over the money cash flow it and pay my basically fair share of the total team fee. So if we add this all up, it will be 400 plus 50 plus 10 plus five plus 50 plus 60 plus 25 plus 84 plus 130 gives us $814 in total. 
total for fixed expenses. Now we have subtract that by the total income, which was $3,934. So left over $3,120 for variable expenses, sinking funds, and debt. You know, in the past video, if you watched it, I challenged myself to do $30 for groceries. I perfectly accomplished that, which is fantastic. However, I know already, I'm filming this a couple days into this budget period and I've already gone to the grocery store and I've spent $55. So I'm gonna give myself a budget of $75 and have about 20 extra left to get kind of like random things as needed. And then we do have eating out. I, guys, it has just been, I don't know, my eating out budget this these past two weeks for the other budget was just out of control. This one, I can already know, I can already tell it's gonna be out of control as well. So let's just budget for it and put 200. My eating out budget is normally 100. I don't know what it is about December, just like getting together with people and I don't know, but I've been spending a lot of money on eating out and I just wanna have my budget like be protected and that's okay. I can sacrifice paying off a little bit of debt to not go into more debt with this eating out here and then we have gas and car so it's gonna cost me pretty much a full tank in total for there and back to Portland it's a half a tank each way so plus my daily driving so I'm gonna budget a hundred dollars for gas and car and then we do have investments and I'm still gonna budget the forty dollars that I typically budget for this in addition to the acorns and we're gonna have to kind of play around with that in the new year then we have fun and entertainment. I'm gonna give myself $50. There's nothing planned, but maybe I'll do something with my cousins while I'm down in Portland or you know, who knows what we'll do, but I wanna have my budget be protected for that. And then a holiday, I am gonna put 410 towards it. This is pretty much all gonna come from uh, savings. It'll be leftover Christmas budget. Um, I forget what else. Oh, Christmas travel. That's the other piece that it'll be for, which I'm kind of just going to loop that in to the overall Christmas mumbo jumbo. Um, I saved it separately because I thought I was going to fly home for Christmas, but we're driving. So it's just a lot easier that way. So we've got holiday, then we need self care, which will just to be to get my nails done. So that's going to be $50. And then we have miscellaneous which we will also budget 54 and then travel and vacation so i put let's see here i put my flight and my friend's flight to our bachelorette party or not ours my friend's bachelorette party next year uh, i paid for it because with my alaska card you can get a companion fare so i only had to pay taxes and fees so really her flight ended up being like $200 round trip to Miami. And so what I did is I took the total cost of both of our flights and I just divided it by two. So then we're both like sort of splitting the cost and because I used her companion, my companion fare on her, we both saved money at the end of the day. So I do need to pay off my card with um, some savings that I'm bringing over and then the Venmo that she sent me in the payback. So that total is gonna be about 800. Yeah, so really I paid about $800 round trip for two of us to go to Miami next year, which is fantastic. And then pets is gonna budget $25. Um, I think I need to get her some, my cat, some new cat litter. Um, and she's coming with us to Portland. So I need to make sure I just budget that in total for everything. Okay, so total variable expenses here. This is gonna be quite a large number. So we got 75 plus 200, plus 100, plus 40, plus 50, plus 410, plus 50, plus 50, plus 800, plus 25 is 1800 even. Wow, what a nice round number for us. And then we just subtract that by 3120, which gives us $1,320 left over. So bring that up here for the sinking funds. We're gonna keep this short and sweet, like we've kind of been doing in the past. Um, and then in the new year, we'll have to like really narrow down sinking funds. But I think what's helpful is I kind of just categorizing a lot of stuff into one main category, which has been, I think, helping just with the overall sinking funds and keeping organized, since I'm not keeping any of this in cash anymore. More. So we've got a MacBook. Guys, I'm so close to getting my new MacBook. I think it's going to come in January when I get my bonus. I should have a lot of bonuses coming in January. It's going to be a high, high income month for me in January, which I'm super excited about. But 
no guarantees. So I'm gonna budget 100 for the MacBook. And then car maintenance and insurance, we are putting 100 towards. And then future fun, this is my new category that I think has been saving me a lot. We're gonna put 100 into future fun in terms of saving me a lot of money putting it on debt. So anything like concert tickets or like a last minute hotel fee, or maybe we're gonna go to a museum, like something that is like unexpected, but it's like fun, fun entertainment. I just wanna make sure I don't have like FOMO and I can still like participate in fun things. Then we have the 2023 vacations i'm almost like i need to start putting more in the 2023 vacations because oh god there's so many coming up but yeah so we're gonna put 80 towards that and then we have 2024 vacations every paycheck i have been putting 35 dollars, and it's been working out seamlessly that way and that's for two different trips i plan to take in 2024 and then indoor soccer i don't know if i'm gonna do it like take out cash for indoor soccer every paycheck i'm gonna do 20 dollars. so then i have this covered here for the future indoor soccer teams so i don't know if i'm gonna do that in future fun if i'm just gonna take it out as cash but all of these will be cashless. They go into my Ally Savings account. So I think I might use this as a cashless piece too. Um, okay, and so let's add up the sinking fund. So 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 80 plus 35 plus 20 gives us 435. And remember all side hustle money is going towards these sinking funds so we are putting a little extra from my regular paychecks into sinking funds if i didn't have the side hustle money i honestly wouldn't be able to save as much as i would like so that's why i've been sort of just doing all these little side hustle things to make sure that i can participate in fun and buy myself a new macbook and go on vacation like i don't want to really miss out on those things. So 1320 minus 435 gives us $885 left over towards debt. So we have my Discover credit card and then we have my Alaska Airlines credit card as well. So the flight I put on for my work trip, I put that on my Alaska Airlines card. So that's about 278, I think the total is for that. Um, and then I also want to put about 400 towards my Discover card. And honestly, I'm probably just going to put 485 and 400 this way. And then we're going to basically put a total of $885 towards debt. It's really difficult to, I guess, like understand which category I should put like work expenses in. I don't know if I should do it as business, but it's not really business for me i put it on my discover or my alaska card and now it becomes debt so i don't know if there's another way to do that you know i'd love different like suggestions but it's fine i get the points that way the mileage and we are flying alaska so it's even like better that way so that's the second half of december budget there's a lot of money that's going in and out this month i'm going to try to figure out and keep it all consistent myself but we'll see check back in the first in the new year oh my gosh there'll be a lot of videos that come out in between then but this is really the start of the second half of december finishing out the year super strong putting money towards debt towards savings and sinking funds and just really being in a healthy place financially going into the new year so thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe hit the thumbs up button and i will see you all real soon bye